Check out the private Discord server, Patreon link below. You get a seven day free trial. And one of our traders last week, five out of five hits. And one of them made over 100%. Check us out. Okay, we gotta talk about the housing market because they're building like there's no tomorrow. In fact, I think people are building houses to the point where it just doesn't really make that much sense. Denver nears housing oversupply. Potential pricing drop. New report just came out. So what's going on in Denver? Well, if you go to Denver right now, they are just building homes. So many of them to the point that there's just not enough buyers. If you go to the Denver metropolitan area, you do see a lot of people are building homes. There is a ton of new construction and there's not even that many renters in Denver. Yes, Denver used to be a post-pandemic town, but now the pandemic is over. You know, hybrid work is kind of here to stay. In fact, some companies are even forcing people to go back to the offices again. So Denver is no longer having a massive population increase. So what's happening here is a lot of these rentals that were recently built, they can't find people to go in and rent them. This is a situation that's becoming very dire. This happens all the time in a capitalist market when people see that you can make a bunch of money from building houses and renting them out or selling them, they do it in like a huge bulk. So much so that places like Oakland, like the Brooklyn Basin, have now stopped construction because the developers said that they've constructed so many homes in Oakland that there's no more renters. And the Brooklyn Basin is actually a pretty decent area too in Oakland. I mean, it's near the freeway, right? It's near the water, so it's pretty nice. We're also near a few grocery stores. And if you take the highway, you get to the San Francisco-Oakland Bridge. And then you go to downtown San Francisco and work in your little tech company. But if you want something nice and peaceful, you can cross some of these islands. And you can even go to some of these really nice yachting places and boating places to chill. So the Brooklyn Basin, by far, is one of the best Oakland developments in terms of rental apartments. But look at this. Half the land is no longer developed because they made so many freaking apartments that they're losing money now. And same thing is happening in Denver. Nobody would have thought about this like a few years ago because Denver was such a hot spot. People wanted Denver real estate. But now if you look at several Sunbelt cities are nearing an oversupply of rental houses as population levels stabilize. The median rent of many of these Sunbelt cities are up a ton. Housing prices are very expensive. But now we're finally seeing things like a housing cut, like this one, finally a $20,000 discount, and this house, finally some discounts right here. But it's still very overpriced and very expensive in the Denver area. And I think prices will continue to drop because new construction is off the charts right now. Check out the new construction homes in Denver. It will absolutely shock you to the core. And this is a lot of new construction communities. Every single one of these little house dots doesn't represent one house. It represents a whole community of houses. And for example, these homes already get massive price cuts because nobody wants them, right? They're selling plots of land, nobody wants them. Whole communities, nobody wants them. And I don't really know what Denver is gonna be doing at this point. And the same thing with Oakland. Oakland rents dropped 10 to 12% because of the overconstruction. And for all the peeps out there who want to get a house, you're kind of in luck. You can get a house when a lot of these people stop buying. And there's even pending sales are ticking up, but the deals have fallen through the highest rate in almost a year. And there's also certain cities where despite lower interest rates, pending home sales actually went down. And a lot of people are suddenly canceling their pending home sales because of higher unemployment. People also see that the real estate market is no longer nice. Like the WeWork bankruptcy is already disrupting the whole entire real estate market. WeWork seeks to reject even more leases at bankruptcy proceedings trugged on. And remember, a lot of small regional banks, about 300 small regional banks in the US have a lot of commercial real estate. And we could be seeing new bank failures in 2024, which is not a great thing at all. And then you have news articles like these, like a San Francisco tower selling for 50 whopping percent off. These are all really scary stories and higher unemployment doesn't help. So this is causing a massive decrease in prices for Denver and several other places. You know, real estate is no longer the safe investment. It feels like real estate becoming more volatile than ever before. You know, prices rose up so freaking fast in the past few years that now housing affordability is at a record multi-decade low. Let's see what happens. Now, like I said, before we leave, check out the private Discord server, guys. 
We're making a ton of money. Our traders are doing really good. We trade live every single day here. So trade with us, guys. Make some money with us. It's a fantastic server. Lots of winning trades, and we're having a lot of fun.